Hey guys, today is Monday, January the 9th of 2023, and we want to do a quick update on Nifty 50. So without any further delay, let's get into it. This is the weekly chart on the Nifty 50, and I'm using uh, Ekanashi candles, pretty much to kind of tell you the trend. Uh, and you can see that now it looks like it wants to go positive. It hasn't changed yet. If this is a... Uh, Click on the candle. I want you to just see what it looks like. See that it's positive. But the Hekonashi is kind of cut out the noise. So a couple of things here. It's testing the uh, one by two here, this angle. And if it's going to push higher tomorrow, I may want to test this uh, trend line that's coming down right here. If uh, Nifty 50 could close and test that low, it may want to retest this high right here. A couple of things to uh, keep note is that we already have a daily cycle high, daily cycle peak indicated by this uh, line right here. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen here. Is the cycle going to push Nifty 50 down or is the Nifty 50 going to ignore the cycle, test this high? back test it and continue going higher and push higher. So those are the couple of things uh, in regards to volume. The last uh, couple of weeks have been negative MACD crossover. Let's look at the daily and see what we get out of there. So with the Hekonashi, you see that now it's uh, positive on the daily. You see the volume very strong. I think the China open uh, was pretty, let's see what it says here. This Indian shares and higher tracking broad gains. Q3 results eyed. A uh, couple of things there. Uh, I, know, I think I saw something like Asia market was positive. So that kind of helped out a little bit. So a lot of, lot to digest here, uh, but interesting to see it didn't surprise me that we were going to test that trend line, even now we put candles. You can see um, that it kissed it and it's kind of stalling there. I think they closed right now. Yep. They closed at 18,101. So tomorrow we get a gap, or it just, you know, pushes higher, tests this angle, then it knows that it's recognizing it then you're going to have to deal with this trend line right here. And if it could push and close that, which I'm sure it can, uh, then it's going to test the uh, supply zone, that 18602. I have to look at the uh, square, square uh, squaring the range just to see other angles, more important ones than these. This is a demand zone, and I'm sorry, the supply zone. And then it's going to obviously going to test that high. And then if it stalls and kind of goes sideways, that's not a good indication because then it's showing that there's no bulls showing up here to push it higher. So once it, if it gets up there, this is the most important phase. If it could push higher, test it, keep pushing, then this is not a wave five. Wave five is way higher and that's very bullish. But if we stall here, kind of go, you know, could go sideways, but if it uh, pushes lower again, and then below the one by two again, we got to look at the uh, squaring of the range and see it, you know, other turning points and all that. Uh, it can either consolidate going sideways here, but if we take out these lows right here and the supply uh, the zone, it's going to be interesting knowing that now the daily cycle is going down well that that's it for it today uh, yeah, i just want to do a little quick update on that i'll be looking at the markets and they uh, do a video tomorrow uh, so if you're trading the nifty 50 just uh just hang in there it's not bearish yet but it could uh could turn here just gotta be cautious stay vigilant